Well hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we're off and we're going to prove a point in this video and the point we're going to prove is you don't have to go a million miles to find a fabulous site and have a great break. <laughs> Journey in front of us, haven't we? Our granddaughter says, Are we nearly there yet? And uh, I say, Yeah, we are nearly there, and we're still on the drive. Well, we've been on the road now for three and a half minutes, and uh, the temperature gauge has just gone up slightly. Anyway, we're going to Clipsby Hall, everybody, which is very much on our doorstep. It's one of those places that when you get there, you could be a million miles away. And we're just gonna turn left here now. And then Clipsby Hall is on your right. Where all the trees are, I suppose. Yeah, that's exactly where it is. Great place, got some uh, nice lodges on here, which you can rent. It's got its own pub, a restaurant, and uh, I believe it's got crazy golf and a zip wire and stuff like that for the kids. No doubt some of you will have been here anyway, because it's a very popular, privately owned caravan park down here in Norfolk, bit of mud on the road. I've just washed the car and the caravan, it's always the way. So we're turning right in here. The entrance is uh, from 12.30 onwards. And what time is it? 10 past one. So we we're a bit late. All guests, visitors and deliveries must check in at reception, right? Helen, you're the checker inner. Yeah, I think we've paid it all. Yeah, we paid in advance. I'll put a mask on just in case. Okie dokie, karaoke. Right, so we've been allocated a pitch. So it's not a drive and choose. It's no. you go where you've been given. Some hard pitches to the left over here. We'll do a slight tour, obviously. That's a meadow, and I found out yesterday they've got 16 amp there, whereas we've only got 10 over here. Yeah, but we haven't paid a lot of money, have we? No, 77 We're, pound. Four, four nights. Four nights, 70 odd pound, including dog, electric, awning, all that stuff. So that's good. But she did say they were full this weekend. Yeah, it's a very popular place, so I'm not at all surprised it's busy at weekends. Great place to come with families. Pretty quiet at the moment. So we're in, what's this place called? Rabbit Grove. That's it. No fires. Well, we weren't intended on them, weren't we? So we're down in there, are we? Yeah, number 25. Okay. And there's 23, there's 24. So that one there is 25. All right. A bit shady. Mm. But it is what it is. Any particular way of parking? I don't suppose you mind, do they? Well, I don't know. That one's going across. That like. one's across, but is it smaller than this? I don't know. No, we can we can get across if you want. Right. Well, it's quite early in the morning, just before eight o'clock. I'm here in the awning, and uh, a certain young lady wants to go out. So I think she's already out there. Let's find out. Oh, 
Well, the sun's shining, which is brilliant. You can see the little area that we're in over here. Nestled away there in the thick of the trees. Sun rising in the east, of course, so that's east over there. So we're going to go for a little early morning walk because Madden needed to go out. And I thought that would be a good opportunity just to actually show you around why it's nice and quiet here at Clipsby Hall because it's Friday morning and uh, the word on the street is they're full at the weekend. I don't think the whole site's open because there are some grass pitches and areas uh, which are probably a little bit wet and boggy and I don't think they'd want to put traffic on those at the moment. So we're on a hard standing pitch and the area that we're in is called Rabbit's Grove. There you go, Rabbit's Grove. Just zoom in on that sign for you. And currently there's one, two, three, four of us in Rabbit's Grove. Apparently that's all going to change from tonight. Now when I was a boy uh, this all used to be a garden centre and Clipsby Hall which is the house in the trees there obviously privately owned but that's what all these grounds were Clipsby Hall and I don't quite remember when it moved and changed over to become a caravan and camping park but I would think probably a good 30 30 odd years ago so we're going to walk down towards the main entrance which is where uh, an area called base camp is and I suppose base camp is what it is it's where the reception area is and the main bar restaurant and shops there's also a little uh, crazy golf area there shower blocks, laundrette, that sort of thing. There are a number of shower and toilet blocks around, dotted around the site. But I think this is probably the main area. Years ago there used to be a pub on this site, which we thought was still here, and we've wandered up and that, that pub's actually been, looks like it's been demolished actually. And then it's over this side that uh, we're pitched through the trees there. Looks rather nice with the sun shining through. There's a little walkway through the trees, which at night is lit up with these, this string of quite a bright white lights actually, so getting through the trees at night is no problem at all, very well lit up. And so this is the base camp area that I was talking about, and there's more hard standing full service pitches over here. Now we, um, we've got a full service pitch, but we've only got 10 amp. Um, but we've paid less than £20 a night, I think about £18 a night, uh, including £10 for the dog for four nights. There's a little pheasant over here. So we've heard quite a few pheasants. N not heard any owls yet. But I'm sure if I wasn't so sleepy last night, I probably would have done. Got a special visitor coming today. Uh, Savannah is going to join us because uh, we're babysitting for the weekend so she'll be here later she'll enjoy it because there's zip wires for the kids there's lovely play park for the kids one two right now, three go what I particularly like about it at the moment is it's so peaceful so quiet this is reception entrance Also a bike park over there, and then there's a gate through there which takes you to the outside area of the club. All right, let's have a little wander around to the children's play area here.
drap just on the other side. Shower block and toilets. Table tennis over here as well. There are lots of no dog signs everywhere. I, I kind of get it, but I just find it a bit odd. You've got to pay for your dog, but your dog can't go anywhere. It's just annoying me if you haven't noticed. Little sand pit, a couple of little kiddies uh, swings over there and slide and a little climbing area. Nice thing is though, it's all, it's all enclosed. So kids are going to be safe in there. And uh, this is a major sun trap, which is lovely. I would imagine in the height of the summer, it's very warm in here. So yeah, it's good. I like the place. Little driveway through there through the trees that takes you to these lodges. They've all got um, hot tubs at the front of them. I think there's about four. It's actually a beautiful morning. Early March 2022. Yeah, there's a little nip in the air, but it's not bad. I think when the sun gets up, it could get quite warm. They do uh, breakfast here. If you really can't be bothered to get up and do your camp camping breakfast, wander down to base camp, get a full English breakfast down here. Croissants, toast, jam marmalade, that sort of stuff. Sounds like the uh, Larry the Leaf Blower started quite early. <laughs> so Clipsby Hall, about five miles from uh, Great Yarmouth, Caster on Sea area. And until Larry the Leaf Blower just fired up, very quiet and tranquil. But of course, we'd all be moaning if the, uh, if the place wasn't tidy, so I'm not going to moan too much about Larry. Bye! Say hello, Mummy and Daddy. Hello, Mummy and Daddy. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Nanny won't get on, will she? You can. You gotta get on the zip wire. Yeah, you can do it. Nanny. You can do it, Nanny. Oh, hold tight, Saf. Here you go. Hold tight. Bye. <laughs> Nanny's too scared. Nanny's too scared. There's a shower block and laundry down there. Very nice inside, actually plush. You know, like sort of hotel standard toilets. So we've seen rabbits. We saw a, a deer last night when we were walking around. There's a wild dog. <laughs> There's a wild dog behind us. Uh, so we've seen rabbits, deer, pheasants. Not seen or heard an owl or a woodpecker yet, but we're hoping. Yeah, these shepherd's huts are becoming quite popular these days, aren't they? Seems everyone putting these up. Nice little shelter underneath, they have a barbecue, a little gas barbecue in there. They've got some wood underneath, there's, there's a wood burner in there as well. We noticed there was a, a wood-fired pizza oven in base camp last night. Nice of the sun on you over here, isn't it? Yeah. I would think this is probably another reason why this area is quite popular is because you're going to get more sunlight away from the trees. 
but as I say, even beginning of March when we booked this, um, all of this area was full. Okay, it's not Wembley, but it's a football pitch. Um, I dare say in the summer it's very dry, but it's a little bit boggy there at the moment, a little bit muddy underfoot. So that's the perimeter outside over there where the big wall is, is the garden to the hall and a little play area here. More and more daffodils coming through, which is great, we like to see. Looks like a toilet and shower block over here. Wash up area as well. They do do a lot of camping on here as well. Might see more of that later. Here's the house, which is gorgeous actually. 